This is the installation guide for the JDD SPCB tone arm for the reloop spin. First thing you want to do is remove the cover by taking out the 10 screws on the base. Go ahead and tilt lid forward and upward. Pull the wires from the chassis there and unplug the speaker wire from the main board. Go ahead and move the base out of the way. Then remove the three silver screws off the main board. And the two black screws on the back plate. Remove the tape from the tone arm wire. With a pair of snips, go ahead and cut the original tone wire off the main board. Flip board over to get exposure to the tone arm. With a Phillips screwdriver, go ahead and remove the retainer lock from the original tone arm and then slide the retainer lock off of the wire. Use a flat screwdriver to go ahead and remove the E-clip. And then there'll be a small washer as well. Move main board back over and flip turn table over. Remove the lid. be a piece of tape here if it's factory sealed and let's remove that tape from the tone arm and go ahead and pull the tone arm out. Now there's a six millimeter plastic washer that comes with the PCB tone arm. Go ahead and put that onto the spindle. Now feed the wires through the main hole and go ahead and put the tone arm into mount. Now the tone arm rest you're going to go ahead and place on the nipple there and then on the bottom of the tone arm there's an actual magnet that you want to go ahead and place inside the rest and get it aligned. Place the rest onto the actual nipple of the turntable. Go and twist a little bit to make sure it's seated properly. And then there will be an 050 hex key that comes with the kit to go ahead and tighten the set screw for the rest. Now go and put the lid back on the turntable and flip the turntable over. Remove the one screw off the control board. This will mount the preamp to the board. It will be labeled R for the reloop tuned preamp. Then screw down the preamp to the board. Loosen the terminal screws, separate the wires and place into the terminal block. White is for left, bare is for ground, the red is for right. And go ahead and tighten down the terminal screws. For the LED on the tone arm, red will be positive and that will go into power 2 terminal. And tighten down the screw till snug. Now the black wire is negative and that's going to go into power 2 terminal negative. and tighten down screw until snug.
insert power leads into the power terminal. Red will be positive, black will be negative. And then tighten the terminal screws till snug. Plug in 3 pin output cable to preamp. Install E clip with pair of pliers onto the tone arm. Using the preamp breakout board that came with a kit, unplug the red 4 pin plug from the main board and plug into breakout board. Then take power from preamp and plug into 2 pin plug on breakout board. Plug in the breakout board into the last four pins of the main 8 pin connector. Make sure it's in the last four pins like so. And plug in the phono preamp output into TE13, which is socket TE13. and press the latching switch so it's depressed down in the lock position. Go and flip the board over, line everything up, make sure your cables are clear, and go ahead and screw down the main board. Use three of the silver screws And then, of course, two black screws on the back, black. Plug in your speaker from the lower cover. Tuck in your cables so they're clear. Go ahead and put your lid back on. Make sure your auxiliary jack in the front is whole is aligned first before you do it. And then go ahead and snap on the base. Flip your turntable over and remove the lid. Installing a cartridge, we went with the Ortophone OM style cartridge. And attach the leads to the cartridge. Make sure your colors are correct. Red will go to red. White will go to white. Green will go to green and blue will go to blue. Now if these are incorrect in any way, it will make noise and static. Start one of the mounting screws, put the cartridge on, and then tighten the screw snugly. Put in your second mounting screw. Now we're gonna be able to adjust the counterweight and the kit comes with a 564 hex key. Loosen the top screw, and your weight should slide back and forth very easily. Set stylus to desired weight. Tighten down screw till snug.